Hi everyone, my name is Chao Kun Man Hans. My academic presentation number one is on contextual biology and experiential learning. This presentation together with my paper aims to develop a model by combining both contextual biology and experiential learning. Connect David Cope's experiential learning approach into contextual biology and attempts to develop a model that can be used by church and Christian community to cope with different challenging realities. Actually, when we talk about contextual biology, there is another name for it. It is also being called doing theology, as its name suggests. It deals with the context or the reality in which theology can be happen. Contextual theologian Stephen Bevins reminds us that there is no such a thing called theology. There is only contextual theology, black theology, liberation theology, Filipino theology, Asian American theology, African theology, and so forth. Contextual theology deals with everyday experience. When we add in experience, it means we add a meaning to the content of our culture or our historical period, interpreted from our own particular horizon and in our own particular thought forms. Contextual theologian themselves are products of human beings and their contexts. It is to bring the text to the peculiar context. The context changes and therefore the process of contextual theology has to occur in different times and places. When we mean contextual theology today, we pawn away that takes into account three things. In the past, number one, the faith experience of the past that is recorded in scriptures and keep alive, preserved, defended, and perhaps even suppressed it in tradition. So we say that contextual theology deals with everyday experience. At the present, number two, the experience of the present, the context, or the reality, they themselves are important of human being and their context. Furthermore, contextual theology in a more practical way can be viewed as a way of life in which the theory about God and the spiritual life are put to a practical test in one's everyday experience. It is learning enough about God or what we call the theology in order to identify His activity in our schools, jobs, families, or community of faith. Contextual theology goes beyond just identifying God, but it is about participating with God once we are able to identify His mission in our context. To contextual theologians, anything can be a source of theology, the experience of the present, the content, or the reality. They themselves are part of human beings and their context. When we look at the picture, reality or the contents happen everywhere in Christian and church lives. Therefore, contextual theologians must be aware of cultural, geographical, and chronological contents. The contextual theologians translate the content in the past contextually to respond to today's situation. David Cope is the giant in experiential learning. 
He developed a model that impacts many experiential learning followers. There, we mentioned that the central, the key part of doing theology or contextual theology is of experience. So how do we learn from experience become essential to doing theology? As the name suggests, experiential learning involves learning from experience. According to Cobb, this type of learning can be defined as the process whereby knowledge is created through the transformation of experience. Knowledge results from the combination of grappling and transforming the experience. In the experiential learning model, Cobb described two different ways of grappling experience. Abstract contextualization, concrete experience. He also identified two ways of transforming experience, active experiential station, reflective observation. According to Cobb, concrete experience provides information that serves as a basis for reflection. So when a Christian or church community faces a context reality, there is experience. Emphasize on here and now concrete experience to validate and test abstract concepts. That's what we show in the diagram from one to two. Immediate personal experience is the focal point for learning, giving knives, texture, and subjective personal meaning to abstract concepts. In the diagram, as illustrated from two to three. When we talk about the active experimentation or active research, it's based on feedback process. This feedback system provides basis for a continuous process of goal-directed action and evaluate of the consequence of that action. It shows in the diagram the action move from three to four. When we combine these two things together, in diagram A, it represents the contextual theology. We talked about content, reality, and doing theology. In diagram B, David Cobb's experiential learning. When we combine A to B, we see that situations of their kinds happen to church and God's people in society or marketplace and the like. The relationship forms a key picture when there is a situation confronting to the church or God's communal society, social, political, cultural, economical, there is a need for interpretation or reinterpretation of scripture and this process helps us read from the past to reflect in the present. And there is a need for making a new theology for the confronting situation. Help us point to the future action and this leads to a new theology for the church or God's communal society to be formulated. When we are watching these three pieces of perspectives, the relationship show in the diagram is demonstrated. And also, a butterfly model can be constructed. Reality or situations emerges experience. And this experience can be explored, interpreted by going through the doing theology spiral. Then we fashion or theological reflection happens under doing theology, and rules of theology are being formulated. This points to a final step of what the practical theologian or contextual theologian call it practice. When we enlarge the butterfly show in the middle of the diagram, this butterfly models the V circles into an interactive process. When new situations are to be adjusted, 
a new biological response is to be formulated, and this process leads to a new status quo, and new challenging situations keep on occurring. And the process, experience, exploration, reflection, response, keep iterating and renewing. Theology is settled, and in other sense, it is always being established. As a matter of fact, God is living, moving, and active. So it is true that Christianity is not a static, stagnant tradition, but a living and active one. Every successive generation of Christian believers has a responsibility to the generation that came before it and the generation that lies ahead of it. This presentation has arrived at from the reality and situations insights from experiential learning and contextual theology. With a model suggested by me, butterfly model, I believe that this can offer both contextual clarity and internal consistency to some certain extent. Theology formulation is an ongoing task of advancing the teachings of the Christian faith. This model helps to contextualize or translate the substance of Christian teaching for new settings and new cultures to church, society, and marketplace. Through that butterfly model deals with God's action. Butterfly model discerns God's action in our own individual and communal experience. So my last word is, we need to keep translating the Bible to provide information which people can understand. Present the message in such a way that people can feel its relevance. The expressive element in communication and can then respond to it in action, the imperative function. I pray that all the Christian is not only Jesus Christ's followers, but a contextual theologian with which they enter the world and deliver impact to the world. Amen.